All right, so I'd like to get into actually just starting woodworking up. I'm, I'll keep doing the other videos, the updates, like on the Oliver Shed and all that. But I like the main bit of the videos to be in woodworking now. Because since last year, even just since then, I've progressed quite a bit. And I'd like to start showing what I am able to do now. So this will be the first of those videos. I'm going to design and build a nightstand using either ash and cherry or maple and cherry two nice contrasting woods so let me drop the plans here and we'll get to it all right so uh, geez, I'm in the light. yeah it's not going to be helped there's what it's going to look like roughly i'm going to do cherry for the top cherry 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 for the drawer front cabinet's going to be ash it's going to be built out of Side panels are going to be ash with a cherry strip because I'm going to do like a panel glue up with the ash in the middle. And it's going to be about two and a half inches off the floor with the legs because I figure that'll make it look really nice to do it that way. And there's just some of the stuff that I knew what the dimensions would be right away. Some of it I'm going to figure it out as I go and if I really like the looks of it, I'll probably make a design and sketch up. And you can just send me an email if you'd like the design since I don't really want to pay to have a website just to post a design for a couple of people. In the future if I get a bigger channel I'll get a website and I'll post my plans there. So let me get my material selected and we'll get to it. Okay so I've got my ash selected there on that side it's a cherry board in the middle it's the thickest one i had you'll see what that's for and that cherry there so i gotta get all this planed and then jointed i've got a pretty neat editing trick i want to try here so the planing is only going to be one board and it's going to be beginning end but there's something i want to do in the editing here that i think pretty good so uh let me get to it i'll get everything set up All right, so we're ready to plane, so I'm going to get to it. Here should be everything planed for the frame. Got the ash plane. Got the cherry. Ash looks really nice, and I think that'll be a nice contrast. Here's going to be the ash for the side panels. See how thin that is. Pretty thin, quarter inch. Ah, uh, I think what I'm going to do now is start cutting up pieces for the frame and get everything cut to size. Show you it then, and then show you me assembling. So. I'm going to get to it. So, I don't have this glued up yet. This is just a dry assembly. But this is how it looks. Ash, ash, cherry, ash, ash. Now, sadly, this piece of cherry really blended in with this darker ash. I didn't have a lot of this really light stuff. Because let me grab a piece of cherry and put next to it. That's a nice contrast. That contrast, yeah, it's okay. It's not the greatest in the world. I think I'm going to end this part of the build series. I'll end it here. Next part will be assembling everything because basically I just got to cut the stuff to make one more of them. And then I got to cut the top, which I have just sitting down there. I got to cut the top. And the back, I'm just going to use a piece of quarter inch plywood, I think. Uh, the drawers are going to be a video on their own, so we're going to finish the case, then we're going to do the drawers. And then for the feet of this, I'm going to cut like with a jigsaw, cut a radius, cut across here, cut a radius like that. That way it has feet, it's not just sitting flat on the ground and then I'll also 
hide those two dados there from when I cut that so these panels would fit in. Because these panels here, they aren't going to get glued together. What's going to get glued is this piece is going to get glued and doweled onto this piece there, 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 and there. These panels are, should stay free floating. That way it can expand and contract. So, it's like 8.08 right now, 8.10, so I'm going to go in. Probably, I'll have this the next video after this one up within a couple of days because my internet is horrible. It is deplorably slow at uploading. Like a 10-minute video, it takes me anywhere from 8 hours to 14 hours, so... I'm going to cut it here.